So I'm going to do a details video on this little girl. Oops. I don't have a name picked out for her yet. I have a name in mind, but I'm really struggling to name my girls. I have like tons of boy names, but the girls I always struggle with. So we're going to get into her details. I'm going to derobe her and then put her in uh, a onesie that I have picked out for her that I feel complements her beautiful painting. And so we're gonna get this little girl changed. So I'm gonna change her diaper. I like putting my dolls in uh, cloth diapers. So we're gonna get her in a cloth diaper. <sighs> She's so pretty. This doll specifically comes, the kit comes with a body plate. So this is a full limb kit. Um, she's 18 inches. So she has full arms. That means that it goes all the way to her shoulders and full legs. So you can wear, she can wear um, body suits without any pants to cover her legs up or anything like that. This is her body plate. Look at the amazing coloring on that. This body plate is custom to the Emma kit. So Natalie Scholl sculpted it specifically for this kit. So it comes with it. There you go. Look at that. Looks kind of wonky because of the way I'm putting it on, but yeah, it's specifically uh, sculpted for this kit. So that is her body plate. Looks beautiful. And it's gendered specified. So I'm trying to cover this part right here because it's a girl. Um, and I don't want to get dinged by YouTube. So <clears throat> her body is cloth. And this is all her left side. So on her left side, her hand, it's like, girl, please, like this. <laughs> her little fancy hand. Um, she has full arms. But look at that magnificent painting. I mean, look at that those details. Look at the details in the nail beds. Natalie Vitrova has really outdone herself. She's just, just such a wonderful artist. And this is her left side. I love the way she did her eyebrows, where they just meet right at the hairline. And then she has some milk bumps and beautiful mottling. Look at her hair. Her hair is mono and micro-rooted. I don't know what type of hair it is, except for that it's super, super soft. Feels like alpaca, but I, I, I can't be sure because I didn't ask the artist and sometimes they don't, they don't give those state secrets away. <laughs> That's her, her hair, nice little swirl. I forgot my brush. She doesn't really need it. So moving on with her left side, that is her left leg. And again, look at the beautiful mottling and her toes and her right side. So, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Just taking the eyeful of how beautiful she is. Those very delicate eyelids with capillaries, beautiful rooted eyelashes and her little milk bumps. This arm is specifically sculpted for the doll to put right into her mouth and it holds like if she's sucking her thumb and it holds right there. Uh, Natalie has used a very nice matte and textured varnish. And then here's her right leg. Look at the feetsies on that. Look at that, I love the movement in her toes there in the sculpting. So there she is, my gorgeous vinyl, Emma. And we're gonna put her cloth diaper on. She is weighted very um, heavy. Not, I, uh, I, not in a bad way, like I love her weighting. She just, the way she moves in my arms, it's so nice. 
so I, I think she's weighed it really nicely. Okay, so there we got her diaper on. Nice bulky diaper. <laughs> and I was originally gonna put this outfit on her, but then I kind of wanna see her in pink. I think I wanna see her in pink. Since she arrived in like beige and natural colors, I wanna see what she looks like in pink. So I have this bodysuit. It has a nice little eyelid on it and a, and a little peekaboo bunny on the in the pocket. The um, shoulders have a frill or butterfly um, sleeves, butterfly caps, and it's long sleeve. And I got this in Australian size triple zero, which is their newborn size because she's 18 inches. So I guess you would say it's the um, uh, kind of a preemie would could I could put that on my preemie, a 17 inch preemie. And let's get this on her. A curved little hand. Love that hand. Oh yeah, see, I love this color on her. Beautiful. And the fit is good. Oh, she looks so pretty in pink. Look at, she's got no neck. It reminds me of one of my own daughters. She had such a chubbo face and her little floppy head and so we could never see her neck. So cute. So that's a short little details video of Emma. The Emma kit by Natalie Scholl, painted by Natalie Vitrova. There's less than 200 in this edition, has been sold out for probably about five years now. Um, and beautiful little brunette. Look at her, she's so floppy, guys. Like, I mean, the flop on her, look at that. She just, she's just so floppy. I love how floppy she is. And, it, and it's attributed to the way the artist weighted her and distributed the weight, and I really like it. Um, I want to fluff up her little hair right there. So there she is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this short little details video. And I love pink on her. I think she looks gorgeous in pink. All right, guys, thanks for watching.